What is up everyone? My name is Tony. Welcome back to my channel, Rag Rack to K-Pop. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy my reaction. If you do, please consider liking and subscribing. It definitely helps me out. Um, you can also feel free to follow me on Instagram and or Twitter if you are interested. Um, links are down in the description. I always follow back. And yeah, other than that, I'm back with some one wee. Um, I said in the guide, last time that I really want to do their um their debut song from when they were I'm sorry I don't want to like screw up how you say it but is it M-A-S-0094 is that how you say it or is it mass is it literally just like mass 0094 or 0094 I'm not really sure but I wanted to check out their butterfly find a flower song um, so thankfully somebody gave me a link, um, to them performing it on KBS and, or Kiss the Radio. And I also found another video where they had the English lyrics. So I'm going to check out the lyrics after I watch this. And then I'm also going to check out their, like, official debut song as one we reminisce about all so i'm excited to check out these songs and yeah let's just get into it guys and i promise you i will like figure out how to say their names properly i think somebody told me it's it's uh like kang kang hyun kang hyun not kang hyun kang hyun or is it kong hyun kong hyun and it is Hovren, not Heron. It is Hovren. So I'm going to try my best to like properly say their names. I promise you. But um, yeah, the more that I hear it, like the more that I'll like understand how to say it. But anyway, let's get into it. And they literally made this song when they were like 15. I 
I can't wait to listen to the lyrics, to be honest with you. <laughs> or read the lyrics, I guess. It's really not a bad song for like making this at 15. Like, that's insane to me. I feel like it's something about love because I just keep hearing Sarang Hey. <laughs> But that's like the only like word that I'm catching. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I need to check out. I need to check out the lyrics. I also like, I also kind of like, I like the different vibe of like, of like the, the the radio version since they like were probably limited on like their the instruments that they could bring in so like having like you know the little keyboard and then like the acoustic guitar and then I don't know what kind of drum that is obviously not like a full set of drums but like I can't remember I can't remember the name of it I'm sorry but like it just I feel like it gave it a very like um like jamming sesh vibe if that makes sense rather than like a full-on performance but like I personally like that like I it makes me feel like I'm at like um like a chill like like a chill like bar like going to have like a beer and listening to like a live band if you know what I mean so like I personally like that vibe but <laughs> that's just me oh I like the saxophone in this a lot. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Interesting. I don't know, like, I don't know, like, how accurate the, um, the translations to the song is, but I don't know, like, at first, at first to me, it kind of sounded like a girl, like, going through puberty. And like all of the 
all of the insecurities you face whenever you're going through that period in time, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure all girls know, like, how difficult it is whenever you're developing physically and there's just a lot of changes and a lot of emotions and hormones going on and you're very insecure about the way you look and everyone else is developing around you and they and they are also starting to look different and you don't you're so unsure of yourself in those moments that's kind of like the vibe that I was getting in the beginning now I'm not really sure <laughs> like especially like Ta -da. Ta -da. I think it was before that. Yeah, to the girl, your painful memories of love. It became a flower now. Na that part kind of sounds more like... That part kind of sounds more like... Uh, like the guy's like first relationship that he ever had with a girl. And it was probably like a very... I don't want to say immature relationship, but probably like... I don't know. I mean, let's let, like let's face it, you know, when when you have a relationship at the age of like 14, 15, like you're both so young, like you don't know yourselves. You don't know you don't know you don't know how to find the right people in your life yet. Like you don't know there's just a lot of unknowns when you're at that age and it's hard to have a mature relationship when you don't even know who you are as a person. You know what I mean? So, like, I kind of got that vibe after reading this part of the lyrics. Like, when you have that, like, very young, young relationship where, like, it's full of emotions and there's so many unknowns and you don't know yourself, you don't know the other person, like... I don't know, like, that's kind of the vibe that I started getting, like, more into the song. But I'm interested to know what you guys think. Um, I, I definitely think it's a very pretty song for, A, them creating this when they were 15, and B, I think it's very easy to connect to this song because we've all gone, gone through these types of emotions whenever we were that young you know what I mean like definitely that feeling of insecurity and not knowing where your life will lead and stuff like that so I don't know I definitely appreciate the song and I appreciate the fact that they created the song so young like I'm just my mind is like still blown by that Like, the, like, these are very deep emotions and deep lyrics to have as a 15-year-old, in my opinion. I was very surprised by the saxophone, I'm not going to lie. Like I said, like, I'm just amazed that they made that song at such a young age, like, to be able... I just, I just want people to know that, like, okay, I have my bachelor's in psychology and communications and I have my master's in organizational development and leadership, which has a lot to do with, like, emotional intelligence and stuff like that more in the workplace but like it can also be like used in the sense of like relationships and stuff like that but it is 
it is extremely rare for people to gain self-awareness at that young of an age to be like to be that um I don't know I don't know how to describe it to be that like trying to like think of what I want to say to be that deep when it comes to your emotions someone else emotions the feelings that you had in that relationship like usually when you're that young you understand that it probably wasn't good it probably wasn't healthy but you don't really understand why until years later when you gain that self-awareness and you gain that emotional intelligence and you develop yourself more emotionally and you're like yeah that probably was not a healthy relationship that was not good for me like we both kind of screwed up in that relation like it takes years to get to that point you know what I mean so like the fact that they're having these lyrics at the age of 15 is like actually mind-blowing to me as someone who studied psychology and emotional intelligence and stuff like that like I I'm like <laughs> I'm honestly blown away I'm not gonna lie to you like that's just amazing to me like you don't it's very rare to see that like like legitimately it really is I don't know like I'm just kind of surprised at how mature these boys were like even at this time creating the song but anyway, <laughs> let's move on to um, the Reminisce About All song, which I think is later in the song. I mean, later in this video, but I don't know. Hold on. Let me check my 350. Okay, sorry. I couldn't remember like where the other song started. Okay. It's such an interesting to song, such an interesting song to have as their like debut as one we. Wow. 
it's definitely um i'm the reason why i say i'm i'm fascinated that they chose this as a as their debut song is because it's mostly vocal and keyboard like which i find interesting that that's what they would choose as their debut song you know what i mean like i'm surprised that they wouldn't go like full out with like the whole band you know what i mean Okay, now we're getting more into it. I was like, I was kind of waiting for like, sorry, my hair. I was kind of waiting for like, I don't want to necessarily say the beat to drop, but like. It's definitely a pretty song. I really want to know what the lyrics are about. I'm not gonna lie, like, <laughs> I know I've talked about B2B a lot and enjoying their vocals, but like, I would absolutely freaking love if Yong Hoon and Eun Kwang did like a collaboration together like i i literally think it would be like one of the best things ever <laughs> Did Jong Hoon write this song too? He just seems to have a very like deep connection with the song. Oh my god, is he getting emotional? No, I can't watch people get emotional. Oh my god, <laughs> stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stop, wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I can't watch people get emotional because I am like an empath and I get emotional too. <laughs> Oh no. He had to have written that song. He had to have written that song because he got very like, he got very like deep and emotional about it. Okay, I wanna, I like now like definitely need to go through the lyrics.
얘기할 수 있는 지금인데 버렸으니까 그땐 그랬으니까 그땐 그랬으니까 무뎌지는 내 마음 네 마음 그래 다 한때 음. 사랑했던 그녀를 내탓네탓 네 그저 한 순간 참 이상해 감정이란 게 한순간에 바뀐 내 모습에 널 사랑해 아니 싫어해 내 마음은 그게 아니야 좀 그만해 결국 살아보니 다줘 아픈 시간들도 다줘 그래 왜 몰랐을까 왜 아팠을까 노노노노 no, 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 no. 술 한잔에 웃으며 얘기해 I'm just I don't know if if weaves know like any of the boys like background or like family history or anything like that but it kind of sounds like he, I'm assuming Yong Hoon wrote this song I don't really know I feel like he did considering how emotional he got but it, it kind of sounds like Yong Hoon might have had like Young Hoon might have had like a parent with like issues, like mental health issues. S sounds like alcoholism. I don't know how, I don't know like if that's who he's talking about. That's what it sounds like in the lyrics, but like I feel like either way it has to be someone who he was very, very close to that had like some issues and like probably took it out on him which is like like now I can understand like why he got so emotional because it's very hard it's very hard whenever you know a parent doesn't treat you how they're supposed to how a parent should be treating you with unconditional love and stuff like that but but at the same time they're still your parent and we just have this, we just have this, like, natural, like, like, built-in love for our parents, you know what I mean? Like, we can, we can hate them for the things that they do and hate them for the thing, for the way that they treat us, but deep down, you're still gonna have that love for your parent because they're your parent and they raised you and even though they weren't really there for you, like, they were still a part of your life. And it's hard to, it's hard to cut someone like that off. It's hard to kick those types of people out of your life, you know what I mean? Like, that's how I'm kind of seeing the song after, like, a minute of getting into the lyrics. But I don't know, like, any of the, like, I barely know the members, let alone, like, their family history or anything like that. Like... That's just kind of the vibe that I get. If you guys know um, and you feel like you want to tell me, please feel free. But I don't know. Like, I, I definitely think it has to be someone close to Young Hoon. I'm like, let me, let me look this up. I need to like, okay. Young Hoon wrote and composed Reminisce About All. Yeah, I like, I don't know. That's... That's kind of the vibe that let me let me continue with the lyrics. Tell me 
세상의 기억이란 게 한순간에 네가 그리운데 넌잘 지내 난 그냥 먹는 말은 그게 아니야 또 이런 결국 내... 살아보니 다 줘. 아픈 시간들도 다 줘. 그래 왜 몰랐을까 왜 아팠을까 no 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 술 한잔에 웃으며 얘기할 수 있는 지금인데 어렸으니까 그땐 그랬으니까 그땐 그랬으니까 돌아갈 수 있다면 날볼수 있다면 그땐 싫어했던 날널볼수 있다면 돌아가게 된다면 널또 만난다면 지금이 오지 않게 널 지나칠게 시간들도 다 줘. 그래 왜 몰랐을까? 왜 아팠을까? No 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 no. I'm trying very hard not to get emotional right now. I'm like, I was not expecting such an emotional song. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god, I definitely I definitely feel like Yong Hoon had a traumatic childhood. Like, wow. I, I like, don't even know what to say right now. That was, the song was beautiful, first of all. I do want to say that. Like, I, I just, I don't know what to say. It definitely seems to me like something happened with a parent. That's what it sounds like to me, but I mean, doesn't necessarily have to be a parent. Maybe it was someone else in his life, but I definitely think it was somebody that was very, very close to him that, um, that traumatized him. I'm just like, I mean, there's like, no, like, like there's no doubt about it to me from the lyrics, like, and how emotional he got during his live performance of that song. Like, I'm, I mean, I don't know the full story. Like, I don't know what he went through, but that's just what it sounds like to me. And, ugh, I'm just, <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh my God. How do I end this video now? Whew. Anyways, if you guys know any of the background story behind this song, I would be very interested to know about it. Um, I'm very, I'm very curious. Um, but yeah. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. I was not expecting to cry. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that... <laughs> I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy, be yourselves, and have a good day. Bye, guys.